you want to see how I painted this trunk lid using a $20 electric spray gun from Harbor Freight, then sit tight because I got a video for you. I'm going to do this thing my way. Let's go. Been grinding hard on it all day. It's okay. We work hard, then we all play. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So I've been getting a lot of requests on spray gun things to paint, which I do have a gun and a compressor. They're just, it's a tiny compressor and a cheap Harbor Freight gun, which I've done some pretty good results with the Harbor Freight gun. I know a lot of other people have probably already tried this. My grandpa actually done it, has done it before. So I just wanted to try and see how I could get the results he got. So that's what I'm going to do. If we get orange peel, which we probably will, um, I'm going to go ahead and just wet sand and buff it out and we'll see how it looks in the finished result. So here's the before. And we're going to go to Harbor Freight and get the electric sprayer. All right, so this is the paint spray gun. It's like 1999 here at Harbor Freight. And that's what we're going to get. So I got it out of the box and this is what it looks like. Um, it came with more attachments uh sorry about the camera guys i have to hold it right now because the tripod broke and i don't have any money to buy another one um, but these have different size nozzles i'm just going to use the one that came on it and uh, i'm going to take the smoke gray which this basically is the advanced formula um, just in a little can and i'm going to pour this entire thing in here and then i'm going to fill this up with acetone and then pour this in there so it's basically a one-to-one -one ratio and uh, then we'll go ahead and spray it and see how it turns out. Like, I know this is going to orange peel a little bit, but my hope is that it won't do it too bad and I can wet sand and buff it all out. I have a compressor and spray gun. I'm just trying this just to try something different. But, um... All right, so somehow I ended up screwing up the recording. So sorry about not having video of painting this, but I won't disappoint you guys because I will be wet sanding this down and painting it one more time. This time we'll make sure it's recording. Sorry about that guys, the first pass was not recorded. Um, if you don't have a compressor and a gun, this is a very good alternative. This is actually a half pint and they're like three or four bucks. And this whole thing did two coats on this. Um, pretty thick too. And it did pretty good. So a gallon of that I believe is like $49. I'll put a video right here. And we're going to come back and color sand, which is basically you wet sand the color, like this color, um, to get it all smooth using 1500 grit. Then we will add another coat, and I will record. I will definitely make sure that it's recording, guys. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and let this cure it. All right, so I'm at my uh, buddy's house to use his garage. There he is, and his Eclipse, which he is spray campaigning. I'll go over that at the end of the video. But uh, it's ready to be wet sanded. I'm going to use 600 grit, um, lightly wet sand this. It's been drying overnight. Um, there is imperfections. Obviously on this side, I didn't take any prep work into consideration because this is a test panel. This will not be going on anything. I'm just gonna be using it for demonstration. But uh, the orange peel is not too horrible in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lightly wet sand this. And then we'll add another coat and I'll actually get video of it this time. Okay, so I wet sanded this down. Um, you can still see there's little spots of orange peel. It's not a big deal. This paint's pretty thick. It'll cover them up. If you want to spend more time on it, go for it till it's all smooth. Um, right now it's smooth to the touch, so it should turn out pretty good. Now there will be more orange peel after we lay this coat down, so you're gonna have to wet sand one more time, then buff it out on the final product. So basically I poured this entire thing in and then filled it all the way up with acetone, poured it in and mixed it all together. Uh, I'm not doing that this time around. This time I'm going to pour the entire thing in. Uh, we've already got this shaken up. I have my mixer here, which is just a uh, drill with a battery tie down and um but i'm basically just going to dilute it a little bit until it's thin enough for me which i'll show you what i mean so basically we're just going to stir it up we're going to pour it all in it's not a very level surface but um we're gonna go up to this too and just go a little past it. That way 
it's it matches right here. So that's how we're gonna dilute this. And I use acetone for this. Now we're gonna mix it up again. Using one of these free paint sticks from Ace, we're gonna move it around. We're gonna see how it drips off. That's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the gun and then we'll go over the explanation on that. I've got all the paint in the gun. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust a few things and then we'll start shooting. Another note, um, you're supposed to use strainers, but a little filter strainers whenever you're pouring the paint. That way you get any contaminants out. I'm not too worried about it with this since it's just a demonstration. So if you see little specks in there, that's probably what that's from. They can easily be wet sanded out. All right, now that you've got the paint in and ready, there's a knob back here that you'll use to adjust the spray gun pattern. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. You can see how that just sprays out everywhere. I'm gonna turn it back a little bit. That's too little. That's just about perfect. So now that I've got it that way, um, you'll just wanna basically mess with it until it's right. So now we're gonna start painting. All right, so it's having a little bit of a spraying issue. I think it's because the paint's a little too thick, so we might need to add a little acetone, but it's... It's basically spraying it out like a... like a squirt bottle with the stream setting. So I have adjusted these settings always, and it's not doing it, so I'm gonna have to take it apart, clean it real quick, and figure out the issue so you guys don't have this issue. Okay, so it's just really low on paint, so that could be why it's sputtering. So I added a little acetone to see. And that was the issue. So make sure that it has plenty of paint. I'm just using half pints because I'm a broke joke, so. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of orange peel, but don't worry, that levels out a lot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit what's left down here, which like I said, I don't care about, but we're just gonna do it anyways with what's left in here. Well, there wasn't really anything left in there. So. <laughs> so that's basically what it'll look like right after you spray. Don't worry, this will lay even. Um, once it dries, it will dry just a little bit smoother than this, then the wet sanding and buffing will take place. So we're gonna set this out there in the sun. Um, and while it's drying, I'm gonna explain a few things. All right, so we have the trunk out here in the direct sun. This will help with the orange peel. It'll help level it out some which it's already leveling. It's starting to look pretty good. Um, so yeah, basically once you're done with that, you'll take the gun apart, which I can show you how to do really quick. So you'll take it apart like this and you'll just run acetone in here. Tear comes right off. You'll just pull it off like that and you'll clean that with acetone. Clean it up in here with acetone and a Q-tip. Take this piece here off. You'll clean all these things, this little pin that fell out here, and you'll clean in there with acetone. And if you really want to, you can clean it all, fill this up with acetone, and then spray it into a container and dispose of it properly. Yeah, so 
we will follow up with this in just a little bit. All right, so it's been drying for a few hours. Um, typically you wouldn't wet sand or buff for 48 hours, but with this paint, it's working pretty well. Um, I tested in an inconspicuous area first, but basically this is what it should look like. You can see right here, there's orange peel still, and here there's not, um, well, there's still a little bit. It's, I'm gonna knock it down um, to about a factory level of orange peel, maybe just a smidge more, I don't know, might be less. But I have a video on how to wet sand and buff. Uh, link will be in the description. Definitely check that video out. That way um, you can see how I wet sand and buff because I'm not gonna record this process, but I will uh, show you how I buff this after we get all this wet sanded. So uh, sit tight for just a second and I will wet sand all this down. And um, yeah. All right, so we're back at my house. As you can see here, I went through and wet sanded this um, trunk lid down. I did leave the orange peel right here so that we could compare this versus this after I buff it. Um, so I'm going to hit this little spot that I sanded here. I didn't do a very thorough job. You can do much more thorough job of uh, wet sanding with 1000 grit, 1500 grit, and 2000 grit to get an even smoother finish, but this is just a demonstration. This here, these little spots, I could keep going and spend probably a few more hours and make it even smoother to where it's basically all like this area and then there would be like no orange peel and it would look beautiful um, so it's up to you how much orange peel you want in it most people don't want any but that's a lot of work and uh, it's really your vehicle so it's your choice but this will work for now we'll see how it looks with uh, buffing so I'm gonna go ahead and get the buffer I have this drill master buffer from Harbor Freight and then just one of these foam yellow pads. This one's used up, but we'll see if it still works pretty good. I'll be using the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Um, I did this on my other wet sand and buff video, so a link will be in the description. I know I already said that, but just reminding you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing. And yes, I know my pants have holes in them. These are my working pants. So it does need a little bit more wet sanding. You can still see orange peel, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. Um, I think if we were to wet sand with 2000 grit for just a little bit longer, it would knock down that orange peel and it'd look really good. But look at the shine off of that. There's no clear coat added to this. Um, what you've seen me paint was the second coat and that was it. So it only has two coats, which is one pint total of paint over it and it looks like a really nice glossy finish now if you were to uh, have more paint it probably would turn out less orange peel because I was using very little so it was kind of sputtering the whole time so learn from my mistake if you're gonna be painting using the uh, electric spray gun but you can see that it has a really deep reflection 
and we could get that even better if we remove more of that orange peel um, but yeah so I definitely think I'm gonna use this method to paint the entire car the teal car this one here I think I'm gonna use this method though because it, it's cheap and it's effective um, yes there's a lot of orange peel but I can wet sand that out because I'm not afraid to do work so it's not a big deal I just know that this is uh, it's working so if I spent just a little bit more time on the orange peel um, then yeah it would it would turn out really good um, if you guys haven't checked out GT performance uh, link will be in the description his channel is pretty good and he has the same color on his car um, so definitely check him out because he used the spray gun from Harbor Freight I believe and did this same thing wet sanded and buffed but he had way less orange peel because well you know it's not an electric spray gun <laughs> this option will definitely work if you want to paint your car and you don't have a spray gun um, and you don't want to use the spray can method which the spray can method works really good it's tried and true for me so it's always my go-to but I want to try this on the entire car wet sand very properly on the entire car because like I said many times this is just a test panel if I spent more time with the wet sanding process this would look flawless so um, yeah so definitely stay tuned to the channel guys I'm gonna have a lot more content coming out and I'm gonna try to experiment things here and there with paint that way I can save you guys some money I'll do it so you don't have to I will keep you updated on the Eclipse and this spray can paint job he's doing I'm not doing this he's, this is all him it looks really good you can see the gun paint here has a bunch of runs and tons of orange peel too and uh, yeah so he's gonna fix all of this and he did the hood and he's gonna do panel by panel in the interior he did it all black where it was that tan so I will have video of me doing interior um, so I'll show you that eventually but yeah this is all done by him here so I just wanted to say thanks for letting me use your phone and <laughs> your garage but uh yeah he's using my videos for this so if he can do it and I can do it then you can do it so so um yeah definitely like this video drop a comment below subscribe to the channel turn bell notification on and stay tuned for more content um so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.